Let's start it off right. Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. The bird is the word, but sadly not Pioro. Although I do expect Pioro to start leaking stuff soon, this video is not about leaks. It's about actual real announcements, including the latest from Marvel Studios, which has me surprisingly very excited. Nintendo Switch Online gets a new update later this week, and Nintendo is restructuring and making some sort of layoffs, and it does kind of... Tell an interesting tale for the future. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hit that like button if you enjoy the show. Thank you so much for being here. We're starting off with Marvel Rivals. I just thought this looked so sick. I wanted to incorporate it into today's episode. I'm not the biggest, like, team-based player, but I also wasn't the biggest mobile game player. And then Marvel Snap came out, and it's my strange addiction. I've played that game more than any other video game in my entire life exponentially by so many factors. And Marvel Rivals is Overwatch done with Marvel. Cool graphics, great character roster, free to play, awesome team up attacks, and a closed alpha in May. I hope that this game is really good. I hope that it plays good. I hope that it's supported for a long time. They claim that they're gonna be supporting it for years, all sorts of content, characters, skins, and more already in the works. This could come to Switch too. This is a free to play game, and we know that Nintendo was really aggressive at getting free to play titles on Switch One whether it was Apex Legends, Fortnite, Fall Guys, or it's the one with the robots. They're not really robots. They're kind of robots. Um, 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 um. It's, there's like a whole convention based on it. Oh gosh. What is that game called? You probably know. I'm so blanking. They, they like, ugh. anyhow, Nintendo will probably try to do the same with Switch 2 and get a bunch of free to play games on Switch 2. Obviously like bringing over Fortnite with better graphics, but getting Marvel Rivals on Switch 2 that sounds awesome. This is not a mobile game. This is a PC and consoles game. Platforms have not been announced. It's probably not coming out till later this year or next year, which seems like a perfect time for Nintendo Switch 2. I would love this to be on there and I hope it's good. Maybe we can play it together. We're getting a new Switch Online game, and it's called F-Zero Maximum Velocity. This is the F-Zero GBA game coming to our Switch Online service March 29th, that's later this week, and it brings another title to NSO and really gets us closer to what the heck is gonna happen next. We don't really know. This is the bottom of the barrel as they're scraping through the previously announced titles and games that they have shown, at least briefly, in different trailers and announcements and what comes next. I'm not trying to gloss over F-Zero Maximum Velocity. F-Zero is a great series, and 99 was really fun on Switch, and I love that they're giving some shine to this franchise, and it really makes me believe that they're going to try and bring back F-Zero in the coming years. Whether that's Switch 1, Switch 2, an eShop title, I don't know, a remake, a brand new game, we'll have to wait and see, but it does seem like they're putting a lot of oomph behind F-Zero and trying to bring in a second racer for Nintendo. Nintendo obviously has Mario Kart, which will be the king, the queen, and the almighty forever, but having a secondary racer that does offer something a bit different and can fill the humongously large seven, eight year gap between Mario Kart releases, that would be really nice. So Maximum Velocity is out later this week for expansion pack Switch Online owners. And then what's after that? We do not know. I do expect Nintendo to have some sort of segment for NSO in their next Direct. That seems like a perfect puff piece to fill out the Direct timeline and to just give us more info and easy releases, right? It can't be that hard to just push out a bunch more GBA, SNES, Genesis, etc. type titles, a few N64 here or there. I think that is a good way to fill the gaps and maybe they'll have a big drop in April. We know that there's not really an April game on the calendar right now from Nintendo. If they do have an April Direct, maybe they'll just have like a, hey, play a bunch of Switch Online games. We're dropping a big bunch. They haven't done a big bunch in a while. I would love a big bunch. GBA, N64, SNES, give it to me, baby. But F0 Maximum Velocity later this week. Let me know if you're gonna download it and try it in the comments down below. Before we get to the sad, strange Nintendo layoff news, the leaker Midori, who we've covered many times on this channel because of Sega and Atlas leaks dating stuff like Metaphor Fat Refantasio and Persona 6 coming to Switch, a bunch of different leaks about Sonic, they are stepping down from leaking. They said it's difficult, but I would like to stop using this account. Thank you for reading my Sega group information. Please continue to look forward to the future of Atlas and Sega. Sound like a press release as if they represent the company, but obviously they do not. And I wonder what informed their decision to stop leaking. I wonder if A, they were requested slash forced to stop leaking by Sega or Atlas, if their source dried up, or if for some other reason they just 
wanted to step out of the spotlight. Regardless of the reason, they were a quality leaker that had a lot of good scoops and were very accurate. So it's a bummer to see them go. I wish them all the best and I hope they're not in trouble. I know that's a danger that you run when you're leaking stuff, but they're not leaking like photos or documents, so they should be okay. I would imagine this has more to do with a personal reason than some sort of like, oh, they got got by the Sega Ninjas because anyways, it's only Nintendo who has ninjas. But Nintendo also has contractors and there's a massive restructuring going on at their testing center up in the state of Washington. This is a Nintendo of America testing center where they tested a ton of first party games and they are laying off about a hundred contractors. Now this isn't gonna be covered in the same way as other layoffs that we've seen recently because these are contractors and not full-time employees. But there are layers to this like an ogre because Many of these contractors have long complained that Nintendo won't make them true employees. And there's been sort of this like murky water situation around Nintendo where they keep people on as contractors in order to avoid giving them the full perks of employment. So it's always been kind of a sore spot amongst Nintendo's employees and I guess non-employees, but these are still very much layoffs. They are dumping about 100 contractors and restructuring their whole testing system. Now, some of the details that came out from unnamed contractors are very interesting, saying that there hasn't really been a big first party game getting tested lately, and some even said that they haven't got hands on with Switch 2. Now, that's pretty freaky, but I guess it's to be expected. Now, a number of things could be going on here. One, maybe they're just moving around who's testing what. Maybe much of it is taking place in Japan or elsewhere. Maybe they were kind of winding things down so that there was a better reason to lay off these people. I don't think the fact that they say there hasn't been a major Switch first party game in testing or Switch 2 indicates that either of those things are not happening. It's just not happening at this Washington based testing center. And Nintendo tries to frame it really nicely saying, oh, we're restructuring. We're going to bring on a bunch of people as full time employees. We're going to move things around and make this better. And it seems like, oh, they're going to bring these contractors on as full time employees, but they're not. The contractors are saying that the full-time employees are not really in the testing area at all. And so it's a very strange situation. Now, Nintendo could be restructuring in anticipation of a big barrage of titles that do need testing and of course a new console. And like I mentioned, maybe they've shifted where this is mostly taking place, who they're relying on, but it is a bummer for these contractors because many of them were hardworking. Many of them were long tenured. Many of them were counting on Nintendo for employment and hoping that Nintendo would one day make them red badge employees and offer them true Nintendo perks. They did not and now they're being let go so it is a bummer. Hopefully some of them can be brought back. That would be the best case scenario if they do resume testing and I'm sure that they will. Nintendo obviously is not stopping bringing new games but some of the testers did indicate without this testing center they don't know how Nintendo would test a game at the scale of say Tears of the Kingdom. So Nintendo must have some plan and maybe we'll hear details pop out, but more than likely we won't as Nintendo looks to move this more internal is what it reads to me. Like less contractors, more internal, which I guess is better to bring on more full employees, but it does suck for these people. And I do hope some of these contractors are brought back so that they can reap the rewards of all the investment they've put into the company and the games that we eventually get to enjoy. In terms of what this means for Switch 2 or titles later this year, I don't really think we can draw any true conjecture like you could say oh they don't have any major first party games the switch 2 is far away but is that really the case or is that just really the case based on these testers and based on this testing center i'm not going to try to jump to any conclusions or tell you the switch 2 is not happening it is happening first party games are big or small i think we need to wait for the next direct and i think regardless of this testing center restructuring there will be a direct soon whether they're small games big games huge games bug filled games perfectly tested games nintendo needs more games and they do have an investor call in early May, meaning let's get something on the calendar. They got nothing on the calendar except a TBD Metroid Prime 4, and they need more than that. Especially with all the rumors circulating about a Switch 2 internal delay, the investors are gonna wanna know how Nintendo will make them money in the second half of 2024. So I'm still pegging an April Direct for our calendars. I think that happens more towards the middle of the month and a few weeks before Endless Ocean, which is dropping on May 2nd because they do like to space things out. So you're looking at like the second or third week of April probably to get in before Endless Ocean, to get in before the May 7th investors call and to let us know what the heck is going on. But let me know what you think about today's topics in the comments down below. Are you excited for Marvel Rivals and do you need it on Switch 2 like me? And how do you feel about Nintendo's restructuring and what do you think it all means? Thanks so much for watching everybody. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. I love you lots. Switch Force.
out.